to have a great art scene, it's been said you need three things. One, great artists, two, affordable art space, and three, community support. Well, we found all three in Salisbury. Producer Keith Blatz takes us to Salisbury to check out the scene. The small town of Salisbury might be best known for the birthplace of Cheerwine, but it's also becoming a place of the arts. Salisbury Rowan County boasts a variety of art venues, including collective art galleries featuring multiple artists, as well as individual artist studios, and is one of North Carolina's fastest growing arts communities. We have a hopping um, art scene. We really do. Oh, my husband and I moved here probably, well, 2001. And before we moved, everyone said, you're going to love Salisbury. It's a very artsy community. And it's the truth. I mean, there's, um, we have a visual arts center, which is an accredited museum, uh, which there's not a lot of in North Carolina. Uh, we have great support of the arts. Um, when we have a show here in the gallery, we always have a huge turnout for it, so great support. You can see art throughout Salisbury in rotating sculpture shows displayed along the downtown landscape. The works represent a wide range of sculpture styles and materials. Each sculpture is placed in a site to best complement the piece. But the real anchor of the arts in Salisbury just might be the Waterworks Visual Arts Center, presenting local, regional, and national artists. It's one of 12 accredited museums in North Carolina. Waterworks is an art museum. We're here for the community. Um, we have full accreditation by the American Alliance of Museums. Uh, we're a non-collecting museum. Our visitors come and see three rotating exhibits a year. And uh, we have about 22,000 visitors from 92 cities in North Carolina, about 33 states and seven foreign countries. Salisbury Rowan County is also home to many extremely talented and gifted artists. And you will find several of them working at Railwalk Studios. Railwalk is a working studio, which means you can walk in, sit, and watch an artist work on an original piece, or even chat with the artist. That is what drew Pat Legg to Railwalk, the interaction and visitors. If I really truly want to paint, I'll just keep on painting, you know. And it's really fun to interact with the, with the, with the folks. I was doing a painting once and this little girl said, oh, I love that, I want to paint. I handed her the paintbrush. She painted, oh, I couldn't do that. She painted and just, it made her day. Love the interaction, I do. Railwalk offers 10 studio spaces for rent. Here, artists have the whole package. Not only are they welcome to create their work on site, they're also provided a space where they can display their art, as well as utilize a shared gallery space, where the public can come in and purchase the artwork from an artist directly. Artists like Keith, who are members to Railwalk, and hope that this space will provide an opportunity to focus on becoming a better artist, as well as allowing him to add his work to the already popular art scene here in Salisbury. It's a workspace away from the home, which I'm hoping will help me focus on my uh, growth as a painter and again interact with other artists. And in having a, a space to go to, or an, or an office, if you will, it, it's going to encourage me to be more productive. So whether it's painting, sculpture, or the visual arts, the small town of Salisbury has big opportunity for both artists and art collectors alike. So come take in the culture in Salisbury for North Carolina Weekend. To find out more about the arts in Salisbury, visit rowanarts.org.